What's up all you gardeners out there? So I just wanted to give a quick little tip here. When you're starting seeds, one of the things I hear the most from a million different sources is how can I speed up germination? How can I speed up anything getting to the point of being to that stage of transplant ready, right? How can I speed it up? How can I speed it up? Well, there, there are a lot of ways to speed it up, but we're just going to cover one basically in this video today. So I picked, as you can see right here, um, Morning Glory, the blue Morning Glory, which is the basically probably the most classic and popular uh, type of Morning Glory. The reason I picked that is because they are, well, for one, I was going to grow them anyway, but they have the uh, hard, thick seed coat. So that's the type of seed that this method works best with. It will probably work with most seeds, but it works best with these, with hard, you know, the big hard seed coat type seeds. Um, you got to be careful with other seeds that are smaller, um, that don't have a hard seed coat and so on, because what you can end up doing is causing the seed to rot or get too wet or whatever, and it just doesn't work right. So the, uh, with stuff like this works fantastic. Now, <clears throat> I have, I'm not going to bore you to death with the science behind it. I don't remember all of it anyway. <clears throat> but essentially, there are like chemical processes that go on inside the seed as it germinates. And if I'm remembering correctly, one of the, so one of the things that is produced or released or whatever inside the seed on like a molecular level or whatever, microscopically, um, is peroxide, hydrogen peroxide. So it's something that is naturally occurring in the seed anyway. Um, and that's part of the process to start germinating. It's a lot more detailed than that. You can look it up if you want to, but that's basically what's going on. So <clears throat> the stuff I have right here is peroxide and water. It is hydrogen peroxide 3%, I believe, and then one part of that to two parts water. So what you end up having is 1%, a solution of 1% um, hydrogen peroxide. So <clears throat> again, there there's a lot of science and a lot of research behind that. And they say that the sweet spot <clears throat> excuse me, is what works best is 1%. And that's why the, the dilution is at 1%. Again, a lot of science and research and studies and stuff, but they say that that works the best. So it works in several ways. It, it um, breaks down the seed coating. It starts introducing that peroxide to the inner portion of the seed. And like I said, the, the internal process of the seed, what it's doing for germination it helps it with that. Uh, it also will kill any little bad things you don't want, uh, microbial life or whatever. Um, it'll help to keep your seed sterilized because anything could be on the outside or inside of the seed. You don't know that for sure. And it could be harmless or it could be harmful. And I've heard of many people saying, well, what's the deal? You know, I had sterilized uh, soil. I had brand new seeds. You know, I had a sterile environment and so on. And, you know, I started growing a seedling and boom, all of a sudden it was, you know, like immediately overtaken by disease. Now that can be a lot of different things. And I'm not saying every seed is going to be, you know, riddled with, riddled with disease, but it's better to be safe than sorry, you know, so it's better to just have a sterilized seed. And once that seed coating breaks down, it, the peroxide will get into the internal portion of the seed and it will help to, um, sterilize that too. So not just the outer part, but the inner part. So you've got sterilization, you've got the breaking down of the seed coat, you've got the um, internal mechanisms that need peroxide on the inside of the seed anyway with germination. It's just, there's, again, I don't want to keep, the, I don't want to have this uh, video be too long, but there's a lot going on there. I could name more things, but you get the picture. So, and also water, of course, we all know water helps a seed to start to germinate. And I have found that uh, not only have, because I've, I've tried it both ways, I've tried it with and without, just with water or with peroxide. And it always seems like it's about 30 to 50% faster germination with the peroxide. So not only faster, but it seems like 
and, and I say seems like because I have no hard data for this, but it, I've done the, I've compared the two. It seems like the seedlings that I've germinated in the, in the uh, uh, peroxide grow re like noticeably faster. So, you know, after four weeks, you've got uh, a seedling that's, you know, whatever, four inches tall or whatever. And then the one that's that you didn't use peroxide on is only two and a half inches tall or something like that. So it seems like it grows faster and healthier and everything. So anyway, you take the one part peroxide to two parts water and you just drop your seeds in there. I'll try. Oh, and by the way, try to pick the largest, healthiest looking seeds from your seed pack. It does make a difference. That's another thing you want to pay attention to. So I've got three just in case one doesn't germinate or whatever. The three healthiest, largest ones I could find in the seed pack. Put them in there. And let them soak there for 24 hours. You can get away with that with a hard seed coat type of seed like this. You don't want to leave like a soft seed for 24 hours probably. Probably more like an hour or a few hours, something like that. You don't want to leave um, a, what you would call a tender seed. So just use your best judgment. Uh, probably each seed you look up, if you specifically look up it, look it up on Google, it will say, you know, oh, this seed soak it for this long, this seed soak it for that long. Anything that's hard like this or a pumpkin seed or sunflower seeds or anything like that, you can soak for a long time. I've even seen uh, people soak milkweed seeds for like three days because uh, they're notoriously hard to germinate. And they clip the end of them off too, which makes it easier. You can do that as well. You can clip off just a tiny little portion of that. Um, but be careful where you clip. I'm talking with like a nail clipper. Uh, you could take a nail file and just rough it up. Uh, there's a lot of different ways. Anything that will rough up or crack or cut that seed coating, that will also sp speed it up a lot as well. But you have to be very careful how much you cut into it. Um, because if you damage the tender little inner portion of the seed, it could not germinate at all, or it could germinate improperly or, you know, come out with, uh, only one, uh, seeds, um, seed leaf and it just not want to grow properly. There's all kinds of stuff that can happen. So if you do that, make sure you look up which side of the seed you want to clip from and how deep and all that be very, very careful. But that is another way to speed it up, clipping them, filing them or whatever, what have you. But you just let that soak for 24 hours for a hard seed like this. Take it out, pat it dry on paper towels or whatever. And then you can either um, put it in like a wet paper towel inside of a sealed plastic bag uh, until you see it, you know, actually making a seed or a, a root tail or whatever coming out of there and actually see it get some length and pop the you know, seed coating off. Uh, you can wait that long or you can put it straight into soil. Um, you know, you could probably even leave this in there longer than, than a day, but I would say 24 hours works pretty well. A lot of times when I do this, I will literally see a white, like root tail or seed starting tail, whatever, whatever you call it, the, the root, the root that comes out, the starter root. I will actually see that start to break out and poke out of the seed before I ever take it out of the solution. So it's pretty amazing how fast it speeds up because a lot of times, if you just were to stick this in soil and forget about it, it would take, I'm wanting to say it said five or 10 days or 15 days or something like that. I don't remember. It, it, probably at least five or 10 days um, on something like this. But I mean, when you go from saying, oh, this will take days or even a week or two to, hey, this is germinating within 24 hours or three days or whatever. It's a big, big difference. So soaking these in peroxide has many benefits, just one of which is the speeding up of the germination. I do this with just about all of my seeds, and I've had fantastic luck over the years with it. I've never had any issue of um, it causing anything bad or negative. I've only ever had really good, really, really good results from doing it um, this way with all different types of seeds. Now, granted, different amounts of time for different types of seeds, but the same exact method except for the amount of time you leave it in there. 
for I couldn't tell you how many different types of seeds, and it's just amazing how well it works, and and it gives your um, plant and your seedling such a perfect, fast, healthy, great start, and that's what everyone's always looking for. They're always looking for how can I get this plant to the stage I want it at as quickly as possible, as healthy as possible, you know, uh, get it to be the best possible version of itself that it can be, and as quick as possible. So that just covers one little quick uh, tip on seed germination. Just, you know, basically, hey, soak your seeds in a peroxide solution of one part um, peroxide to two parts water. Uh, it can't get much simpler than that. So hopefully this boring, this boring, <laughs> Freudian slip. What I was going to say is hopefully this video is not horribly boring and gives you some information that you can use, and I hope you have as good a luck as I have with uh, soaking the seeds in the peroxide solution. So see you guys next time, have a good one, and if you wanna see any particular kind of video, or you have uh, tips and pointers for my videos, put them in the comments section. Thanks guys, see you next time.